Hello and welcome to the Yotel 205, which is a mammoth five kilowatt stove. Well, I mean, I think that looks really cool there. Yeah. I think it's going to look good lit. As long as it burns beautifully and is <laughs> spectacular in every single way in terms of the function, then it will be the best stove ever made. <laughs> <laughs> this thing weighs a tonne. It is all cast iron. I mean, it looks fantastic. It's a hell of a... I can't get over the size of it. It's... Yeah. It's huge. <laughs> it's literally... I mean, it's just flipping enormous. This is just like a standard five kilowatt stove. Not standard, clearly, but... Um... Is it convection? Is it... Oh, look at that. Oh, I like... Mate, so that's fully shut down. Yeah. That's full power, yeah. and it's got a little click, ready? And then, that's for lighting. Oh. And it shows it in the ash lip. Oh, I like that. Lighting, and then it's got a, like a volume bar. Mm. Oh, I love it. Oh, man. Crafted in Norway, in Norway since 1853, written in the fire brick at the back. Is there like a, something to bolt onto the handle? There will be, somewhere in here. We've got a sprung door, which is very easily removed if you want. And... I, say, I don't like a sprung door. No, I know you don't. I know you're not a fan at all. Oh, I've got to, I've got to level up the stove because the legs are... That's just the way I put it down. But it will have... Does it have levelers? It'll have something on there to make that work. Oh, interesting. It opens more than 90 degrees. Oh, and then it all... And then it sort of holds. Oh, OK. And then... That is better. Yeah. Oh, quite... That's quite nice as well. A good clunk. Proper high-quality castings are rewarding to use, aren't they? Because... You know, there, there are lovely steel stoves as well. It's not that cast iron is necessarily better than steel, because it isn't. Um, but, I mean, it can be, but it, it, there's too many nuances there for, for going into that right now. Um, but, um, but there is something about really good castings that has a feel. Is there no fire bricks? Cast iron plates. That's a common thing in yokels. Um, so, yeah, cast iron internals rather than fire brick. And of course, the nice thing is those cast iron internals last a long, long time, particularly if you look after the thing. I mean, if you, if you need five kilowatts and you buy this stove, it's obviously capable of more than five kilowatts. But what's nice about that is you don't have to punish the stove. You can look after it. You can use it relatively gently. And, of course, that makes everything last longer. And particularly those cast iron panels, if they're not over-fired, they last a very, very, very long time. Um, the only reason, basically, that they go wrong is because somebody's got the thing too hot. Otherwise, like, the stove's got a 25-year guarantee. No reason why those internal panels don't get close to that at least um particularly if you only need five kilowatts because flipping out this this thing must be capable of seven eight kilowatts if you want it what comes inside inside we have i'm sort of doing a little bit of a reach over oh we've got we've got an ash pan oh oh that's slot very slidey and nice. Um, so we've got a sort of grey. It's just got a few holes. It's obviously more focused on burning wood, but we've got a little bit of a grate to shove a bit of ash down just to make emptying a bit easier. And then inside, a Yotel glove. This is nice. The way Yotel present things is the stove, oh, you know, we've got some instructions or whatever, but then, you know, 
everything is just like, oh, congratulations. I like packaging. Big fan of packaging. Something to put the handle on, but we also have another bolt and a washer. Now, I suspect that would be a DEFRA kit. Yeah, so there's a little bolt here which will go up underneath the stove and stop you from fully closing it down, which obviously is what's needed if you're fitting the stove in a, in a smokeless zone. Right, cut, we've done it. <laughs> Um, I, uh, I've, I've put that, um, the handle on very slightly incorrectly. I put the screw on this side and the bolt on the other side. The only reason I've done that is I've done a little bit of playing around with these handles. And if you do it that way around, it doesn't seem to come undone. It seems to just hold. But if you have it the correct way, um... Sometimes it, it, you can loosen the handle more regularly, so that's just me experimenting. I quite like the cast iron inside. I think from a sort of... Um, oh, it's all black. Yeah, but also from a looking after, I suppose. I, it, yeah, it's probably less work for the end user. Mm. Um, however, if you do overfire it, and when you do need to... It's more of a punishment. It's, it's more of a pain yeah. when, you, when you have to do that. But you do have to do it much less regularly. Mm. We do actually produce a video where we take the whole thing apart and put it back together again. Obviously, I'm doing that on a brand new stove. So it's significantly easier than after 20 years. Um, mm. But you'll, you'll be able to see what it's like and what's involved. And, and I will too, because at the moment I've never done it before. Yeah, there's a couple of things that are sort of interesting. The hinges have a little bolt-on part, which there's nothing wrong with it. It's very, very simple, but it just looks a little different. I like the removable spring. I want that to be removable, and it's very simply done. It's convenient, it's there if you want it, and as you say, you can push the door around a bit and it stops, and it goes past 90 degrees, which is... Stupid, but it's important. It really is important. You're using it every day, um, and you don't want something hitting you in the arm when you're reloading. The air system looks pretty serious. We've got yeah. big cast iron inlet here to keep the glass clean. And We've you've got, got three at the bottom, and then three at the bottom, and about at ten at the top. Um, so yeah, we've got proper air systems, and from what I've seen thus far all controlled from one place and all the air comes through a direct air vent at the back so this is simply opening and closing that and it's mixing all the air a bit of primary underneath a bit of air above and a bit of air down the glass so it's this is a you know well me, thought out this thing. ticks a lot of boxes because the really? the handle doesn't get hot does it no yeah this is a stay cool handle i like that and i like that it's just one one control. One control, and it's easy to see. Oh, okay, yeah, you've got the volume control and the lighting. Yeah, I yeah. like, I like, I think it's useful when other people Yes. are around it. I mean, maybe that's just... It's very high-end and presentable. Yeah. Um, but for me, it's, it's, it's about, like, using it every day, how easy that is. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, what do you think of the look of it, then? Because they do, they do an F200. Yeah. This is the 205, which is... I believe the more popular one, the, the sort of plainer, more contemporary, but okay. the, the F200 has like the big gothic arches and is much more traditional looking. I mean, that, I mean that's just a matter of opinion, isn't it? Of yeah, yeah, sort of yeah. They're the what, same money, they, you know. I think. Yeah, of what, what suits your, your house and your taste. and Yes. But I mean, I think that looks really cool there. Yeah. I think it's going to look good lit. As long as it burns beautifully and is <laughs> spectacular in every single way in terms of the function, then it will be the best stove ever made. <laughs> <laughs>
Excellent. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, chuck them in the comments. If you have anything interesting to say, also chuck those in the comments. Um, and obviously, we'll produce another video taking this thing apart, showing you how to work on it and maintain it. And uh, it's only a quick video, but it's it, it has some useful information in it. And then we'll have the main review once I've spent at least a couple of weeks poring over this thing, talking to colleagues in the industry, learning about it, using it. Um, even in this nice warm weather, I will be here using stoves. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, that will be fun with a pregnant wife who is already overheating. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.